So Eric and I got three birds on the ground. We are super excited because I'm telling you what, I don't think it can get much better than that. I told Eric, I'm like, man, I know it's your first turkey hunt, but you might be done turkey hunting because that's about as good as it gets. But that being said is I still have one more bird left to go. So this hunt is far from over. We're gonna get back out there and get back after it. <laughs> Here, baby. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> oh my God. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> hey, show everybody back what these birds were looking at. So we got set up this morning in the black dark in a totally new spot. And uh, long story short is it actually ended up working out really well. They had no idea we were there, except for that one bird that I shot. He kind of knew what was going on. That's why I shot him, so. Good bird. What do you say? Put that phone down. Put that phone down, come in. What do you think of this turkey hunting thing? I love how it's like so up close and, and personal, personal. Yep. right in your face. <laughs> well, folks, another great morning here at G2 Ranch. We just had another awesome turkey hunt. It was fantastic. It was. It was Incredible. Yeah, it, it, it kind of didn't work out first thing in the morning because they flew down and actually went the other way. Later on, a hen started yelping. And one of my favorite things to do, and actually where I've had a lot of success, is when you get a hen to start yelping, and then you yelp back at her, and you kind of start battling her, and then all of a sudden you start yelping over the top of her, it just makes her mad and brings her in, and she had some gobblers behind her. And then I went ahead and picked out the bird that actually started getting a little weary. Uh, go ahead and popped him and it, it worked out absolutely perfect. So we're gonna get this bird wrapped up. If you're watching online, be sure to subscribe because we're making awesome videos like this. We're putting them out every single week. And if you're not watching online, you need to head over to our YouTube channel and our Facebook because like I said before, we're making some bad to the bone content. We'll see you next time right here on the high road.